So I listen to my screen reader like this. Now, I've been told that's a little fast. So we're going to slow that down a bit. So this is a screen reader, because I realize some of you might not be familiar with how this works. So let's just see. Okay, so he reads what's what's there. He announces the difference in caps. So for example, that's an H, but that's a T. This is a regular T. This is a T. H, T. 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 See, so there's increased pitch, and that lets me know that that T is capital. And that actually speaks to your question about 2D. There's some things you can do with respect to encoding, for example, pitch, that let you convey more information in the same time space. So uh, that's, that's that. Uh, you can navigate by word, like okay? You can spell that word, like is. I, I, can, I can double think it. I can even navigate by uh, character, of course, but I can navigate phonetically, like when I need to read a number to somebody. I, India, I, India. Space, Sierra, India, Hotel, Tango. Right? And so that, and again, the same concepts apply, such as raised pitch. So it, it lets you navigate text in different ways. That's kind of its job, to get the text off the screen along with other information and convey it to me. It reads escape. file menus. P, and escape, leave it, alt, menu, menu, bar, new, the move for light, press up the down arrow, follow by a comma, and create a new document. That was a lot of information. So, <laughs> and, and, and the thing is, that's how much, in, for that whole picture's worth a thousand words thing. Yeah, so... That, that's why I listen to it a thousand words a minute, because otherwise I never get anything done. So this is this is a lot of information, but it's all there. It, all that information he said was there. So let's go over. Oh, new alt followed by F, comma N. So new, alt followed by F, then N. So he's telling me how to do the shortcut key, alt followed by F, then N. He's also letting me know that N is the is the letter in the menu if I wanna, you know, if I wanna select me while I'm in the menu. Um, he's also letting me oh, know. Alt followed by F, comma N. So say I am, like he's reading the, the, the help information, the tooltip if you will. Um, save as split button, alt follow by a comma A. Save as split button. So this is the ribbon. Um, we won't talk about the ribbon. But the, the save as you know, he's letting me know that that's a split button and that's a that's a term that lets me know how to interact with that better. So on and so forth. So this is the escape, kind of escape. concept. So there are different idioms. Windows, that are windows. Windows. I'll show you one here, for example. Open dot 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 control plus O. So open dot dot dot. Everything else is the same. Control plus O, and then he also let me know I could hit O as the shortcut key. But he also said dot dot dot, and that is just a Windows idiom, and it's on other platforms as well. That dot 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 means if you hit this one, another window will come up. That's what dot 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 means. And so as a blind user, you sometimes learn these idioms really fast because they give you information so you don't have to hit it and find out what happened. So just to let you know, this is kind of how a screen reader, uh, how a screen reader works. Okay, so is everybody sort of clear on how, right. how this works before we jump into the web? Any mm -hmm. questions at all? Just hear the name. Uh, okay, so JAWS is the name of the, um, uh, of, of the software application. It stands for Job Access with Speech and was written by a gentleman named Ted Henter back, back in the day, back in, back in the DOS days. Uh, who was completely blind, actually, and wrote a screen reader from scratch, which is quite a bootstrapping process, if you ask me. Um, and then, uh, basically, it's now sold by a company called uh, Freedom Scientific. There are a few competitors to this. Uh, probably the only one worth mentioning in terms of commercial is going to be GW Micro's uh, Window Eyes. And the open source com uh, competitor to this is a product named NVDA, or Non-Visual Desktop Access. It's written in Python and uh, runs on Windows as well, and is, is actually getting it's actually getting pretty good. 
um, I've, I've been pretty pleased with how their progress has been um, increasing. This is Gabe. Hold F4, document word pack. Okay. Hold F4, word pack, I've had accessibility test demo, accessibility. Here we go. So he's going to read the title of the page. Max link vertical bar, link silver, vertical bar. Vertical bar, I don't know what that is, but let's just move on. Link silver. Sorry. The website's not. Hold space, X, leave it menu. Actually, really Windows D, Alt tab, leave it, Alt tab, power make root, Alt tab, PowerPoint, Alt tab, administrators, Alt tab, accessibility test demo, Aurora, silver. Okay. There you go. Screen up, accessibility. Okay, Max. by the way, so when the website's not up, feel free to point that out. <laughs> That's not my department. All right. All right, thanks, Ian. So, vertical bar. Vertical bar, no clue what that is. Let's just move on. Link syllabus. Link syllabus. Well, I know it's a link, and he told me what the name is. Syllabus. Vertical bar. Another well, vertical bar. It's kind of annoying. Link notes. Okay, notes. All right, let's just let him read for a little while. We're just coming to this page. Let's see how we read it. Link notes, vertical bar, link assignment, one vertical bar, link assignment, two vertical bar, link assignment, three vertical bar, link assignment, four vertical bar, link activities, vertical bar, link questions, vertical bar, link calendar, vertical bar, link click here for the better demo page, accessibility demo. This is a demonstration. Oh, that was so, if you're on a seat by now, you just read these links and it was really irritating and, you know, this is okay because, frankly, I coded this and I just got tired of making fake links, but CNN does not get tired of making links, <laughs> fake or otherwise, and so 276 links later, you might reach the article, all right? Uh, Yahoo portals, 200 links. One academic portal I was helping test, 935 links. And one website that uh, is actually, ironically, a resource for blind people, 2,560 links. <laughs> All right, awesome website. That website, by the way, was used as a benchmark for screen reader web speed back in the day. One screen reader took 30 minutes. The reason it was used as a benchmark is because JAWS came in and could parse the website in 30 seconds, which back in the day was a big deal. Yeah, it's awesome. So we'll find ways of, how do you do this? How do you have multiple links, but not make it be horrible, and, and so on and so forth. We're just going to go over some of the problems, and we're going to display the same page on the next page, um, but with, with accessibility and usability having been put in. Also, a note on the design, if it looks like it's been designed by a blind guy, yeah, so sorry about the aesthetics. However, I will say this pretty much reflects what some professors uh, generate, uh, having been the consumer of such information. Um, this is a demonstration of a poorly designed web page. Land, talking about trigonometry. So let's read here and let's feel free to jump in and tell me what you think is going wrong here. Land, why is this course important? Let us look at the history of trig. Trigonometric tables were created over 2,000 years ago for computations in astronomy. The kind of trigonometry needed to understand positions on the sphere is called spherical trigonometry. The stars were thought to be fixed on the crystal sphere of great size, and that model was perfect for practical purposes. What's wrong? It's 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 wrong. Why is it doing that? It's going. So, this was laid out using a table. You know how people say not to use tech tables to lay out text or anything else? This is why. Okay, it's not just because people hate tables. It's they hate tables for good reasons, and this is one of them. So don't use tables to lay out text because then you get disjointed, disjointed sentences like this. Spherical trigonometry is very common only the planets under the land. We'll come back to how to do that correctly. Table values at special angles. Okay, now we know that there's a table and its values at special land. angles. So let's let's see what we have. What we have here. Table with seven columns and six rows. Okay. S. Sin x, column 2, cos x, column 3. Okay, we have x, sin x, cos x. I mean, okay, I'm not an idiot. I took trig. I, I know that's sine of x and cosine of x, but those aren't really well. Tan x, column yeah. 4, cot x, column 6 x, column c, s, c, x, column right, 7. That's nice. Let's keep going down the table. 0, 0, 1, 0, now, 1. Now, I can navigate by column and stuff. I don't have to read this table in your lead. JAWS gives me some tools to navigate. Let, let, let's navigate by column. 0, column 2, sqrt3 slash 2, row 3 minus 1 slash 2. What column am I in? sqrt2 slash 3. I have no idea. I'm just navigating by row, right? I'm, I'm navigating by cell, but I have no clue what column I am. sqrt minus 1 slash sqrt, sqrt, sqrt3 slash 1 slash 2, row 0, row 1 slash 2, sqrt2 slash 2, row 4. Is that the square root of 2 over 2? I mean, obviously that would be 1. But is, is that the square root of 2? Quantity over 2? I mean, this is really... Nice. SQRT 3 slash 2, row 3, yeah. 2 slash 3, copy getting a row, 0, 0, 1, 0, blank, column 5. And blank, there's a blank there. I mean, that's kind of odd, but all right, let's move on. I mean, there's what? some table, whatever, let's let's just keep going. Table. We have to do our homework assignment. Blank, questions. Questions. Blank, table with 6 columns and 3 rows. Another table, awesome. Q1, radio Q1. 